Good morning. So this morning, we will be talking about how to prove if two triangles are similar. So these are the different postulates and theorems that we will be using in order for us to prove that two triangles are similar. So we have the first one, the side-angle-side postulate. Second, the side-side-side postulate. The third one, we have angle-side-angle postulate. The fourth one, side angle angle theorem. And the fifth one, we have the leg leg theorem. We also have the leg acute angle theorem. We also have hypotenuse acute angle theorem. And lastly, we have the hypotenuse leg theorem. Okay, so for the first four here, this one can be used to solve for any triangle. And for numbers 5 to 8, this one is applicable only in a right triangle. So let's have first the side angle side postulate. So when is the time that we are going to use this particular postulate? So we will be using this postulate only if the side angle and side of the first triangle is similar to the side angle and side of the second triangle. Okay, now for the side-side-side postulate. So, we can use this if the first triangle here, the three sides, is similar to the three sides also of the second triangle. Okay, now we have angle-side-angle postulate. So, we can use this only if the angle, side, and angle of the first triangle is similar to the angle-side-angle of the second triangle. Okay, the fourth one, we have the side angle angle. So we can use this only if the side, the angle, and the angle of the first triangle is similar to the side angle and angle of the second triangle. Okay, the fifth one, this is a right triangle. So we can use this only if the legs or the two legs of the first triangle is similar to the two legs also of another right triangle. Okay, so we have your leg acute angle. So we can use this only if the leg and the acute angle of the first triangle is similar to the leg and the acute angle of the second triangle. Okay, number seven, we have the hypotenuse acute angle. So we can use this only if the hypotenuse and the acute angle of the first triangle is similar to the hypotenuse and acute angle of the second triangle. Okay, number eight, hypotenuse leg. We can use this only if the hypotenuse and the leg of the right triangle is similar to the hypotenuse and the leg of the second triangle. So, this time, we are going to choose what particular theorem or postulate we are going to use in order for us to prove that these two triangles are similar. Okay, now let's have the first example. So, again, these are the eight theorems and postulates. So we have here, these sides here, if you have noticed, they have the same tick marks. The same thing with this side. So as we had mentioned last uh, on the previous lesson, that once they have the same tick marks, mean to say they are similar. So we could say here that PQ is similar to ST. And this triangle, that part is side of the triangle. We also have here angle P is similar to angle S. So that part is an angle. And this side here, so PR is similar to SU. So that is a side. So here on the first example, we will be using the side angle side postulate. Okay, so let's have the second. So we have here angle A is similar to angle N. We also have here AC is similar to NL and that is the side. And lastly, we have Angle C is similar to angle L. So that is an angle. So for number 2, we will be using the angle side angle postulate. Okay, now for number 3. So number 3 is a right triangle. So therefore, we have here this part of a right triangle is FG similar to KL. That is the leg of a right triangle. So we also have here 
GH is similar to LM and that is another leg of that right triangle. So for number 3, we have the leg-leg theorem. But since it's a triangle, we can also apply the first four. So we have here, FG is similar to KL, that is a side. And we have here, angle G is similar to angle M, so that is an angle. So we have here, GH is similar to LM, so that is a side. So for number three, there are actually two possible theorem or postulate that we can use. The first one is the leg-leg theorem, and the second one is the side-angle-side postulate. So that's all for today. I hope you've learned something about our lesson. Thank you.